Hey everybody, this is Denise, and I hope you guys can see me. I know, it's, I think it's a little glare, but I'm sorry I'm so late. I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to make um, vegan spaghetti, and I'm using the butternut squash. Okay, because I am vegan, this is what I use for my meat. It's called Beyond Meat. And I picked this up over at the Publix grocery store. And then later on, um, I had went to the Walmart. I didn't see it. And my daughter, Brady, told me it was at the Walmart. And I went back over there. They didn't have any. and went back again and got a couple more bags. And it was a lot cheaper than it was at the other grocery store. So, the first thing I did... First thing I did, let me show you what I had started out with, okay? I'm gonna show you all these all the ingredients. The longest part is <laughs> the butternut squash cooking in the oven. Other than that, everything else is easy. I started out with a butternut squash. I took it and I washed it really good. Because of my kidney disease that I have, all my vegetables and stuff, I have to wash very good, and then I have to peel off the skin. So I peeled off the skin, and I cut up half and half. Let me go ahead and take the, um, actually I'm going to make the sauce, and then I'm going to take the butternut squash out of the oven, because it should be done. Let me turn this eye on. Okay. And actually, you know, it, it really doesn't take that much time. Like I said, the longest part is making the butternut squash. So, I peeled the skin off of the squash, and then I cut half of it up, you know, in chunks. Like if you have potatoes, like if you're making roasted potatoes and you cut them up in like, not cubes, but it's bigger than that. So, I'm going to use two bags of Beyond Meat. And I'm telling you, this tastes really good. It really tastes like hamburger, believe it or not. And I'm telling you, since I went vegan, I've been feeling a lot better. The only thing that I thought I was going to really miss, I thought I was going to really miss the seafood. Because I know it's been like a month ago, I ate um, some crab legs that my husband had fixed. And believe it or not, and I didn't eat very many of them, um, I don't even really miss it. So the first thing you want to start out with is your... Beyond meat, okay? And make sure with any kind of meat that you get, make sure you look on the back. And the reason why, and you read the nutrition facts, and the reason why I picked the Beyond Meat is because I have to be very careful with my sodium and I don't use a lot of sugar. And actually, what let me show you what I use instead of sugar. Get this bag. And it's called the Stevia, and I got this from Walmart, okay? And it's much cheaper than the brand name. And so, whatever I cook, you know, I always make sure if I do use any sugar, I use that. But I try to, you know, let me turn that down a little bit. Try to, you know, stay all natural. So, this has 240 milligrams of of sodium in here and it has zero sugar and I'm telling you it's really delicious delicious excuse me on a lot of those vegan um, meats that I saw out there plant-based the sodium is so so high so make sure you read your nutrition facts and this tastes really good and a lot of them they look good but they taste like trash they taste like garbage so you know pay attention to what you get Read your nutrition facts. Okay, so let me turn this up a little bit because I don't want to be talking to death. I don't want to hold up too much time because I want to show you how quick and easy it is. I cut up some red onions and I'm putting some red onions in here. I don't know if I, you guys can see this. I may have to lift it up a little bit. Let me see. I have it angled in there right. Let's that down a little bit. I hope you can see it over here cooking. Okay, so... I'm going to put some onions in there. 
and the red onions I'm telling you the taste is so much better and if you take your onions and you put them in the refrigerator when you go to cut them up and also I have a chopper too but I don't know why um, I normally <laughs> I'm telling you just sit here and chop up everything and I don't use the processor so every now and again I'll use the ninja you know what I'm saying okay so that was one whole medium onion just over here get that going okay and then and remember that's beyond me and the cheapest place that I bought it was at Walmart it's very good and then I'm going to add the organic seasoning and I bought this over at Costco and it's 21 seasoning seasonings in here and this is sodium free okay Let me open this over here on the side so you know just season to taste what you like and remember this is sodium free no salt at all so this is just all kind of herbs you know and seasonings in here I run it to have a nice little taste I bought this one at Costco this is this, this is the McCormick ground ginger and I'm probably gonna put probably about maybe whoo I got stuff flying look and the other side flew out all right we got our ginger going in here tonight okay Let me turn this down just a bit and I love ginger and you know what's so funny is I have fresh ginger in there and I have fresh garlic in there but I'm trying to you know save time and I'm not going to be eating this tonight only because it's so late and I'm doing intermittent fasting hey thanks for joining me how are you doing tonight so I had to have everything eaten by seven o'clock so I'm starting really late so I'll be having this tomorrow Okay, and we put this in there, the 21 seasoning. We put that in there. And when I, one of the things I wanted to say, let me just pull this up a little bit. When I um, did the butternut squash, I rinsed it and I put olive oil on the squash. And then I added some of the pure sea salt. Not a lot because sodium is, you know, it's not great for me. It's actually, I'll swell up like a big pumpkin. And I put some fine ground pepper on there. So let's keep this going. And the one good thing about this, I meant to tell you that it's fully cooked. So more or less, you're just heating it up and you're adding your seasonings and stuff to it, okay? Some people don't add anything at all. How are you doing tonight? Thanks for joining me. I'm just, you know, trying to come on here. I try to come on at least maybe once a week and try to show a meal. And then throughout the week, I'll show some smoothies or I'll show you how quick and fast it is, you know. But Sunday is my meal prep day. And this is one of the um, items that is going to be in my meal prep. You turn it up a little bit. And I'm telling you, one of the tips is easier to pack your food ahead of time, okay? Get my little containers ready. So that way, when you get ready to head out, you will have your stuff already prepared and made up. And I'm telling you, I stay on the go. My husband's getting ready to have another surgery and... Um, one of the things I, you know, it's bad for me to eat out. And I can't go to buffets. I don't, it's not that often I will get anything out. Okay. Oh, let me put this back in there. So we'll stir that up a little bit more. I just want the seasonings to cook down and they're really good. And if you want, some people add a little oil to their, um, their pot before they put their meat in there okay and you can make this whether you're vegan or not you just add your own meat you know like my husband he would probably have sausage and hamburger you know and this is what I use okay 
so that's pretty much just, you know, warming up, making sure the seasonings cook through. You take and put this in the trash. But you know what I'm saying? You know, we can get really lazy when it comes to us. And I'm telling you because my husband's not vegan, you know, and I try to make things that he'll taste and that he might enjoy, you know, just in case he decides to eat some. But um, this way I can have my stuff already fixed up and prepared and then I don't have to worry about it because, you know, I'm just pretty much starting, you know, and I feel sometimes I just feel overwhelmed and I don't know what to do. Another young lady that I had added to my page, her name is Tabitha Brown, and she has a lot of great recipes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my sauce in, and this is called Gio Rosso. And the only place that I could find this is at Publix, believe it or not. It's so funny. Okay. I could not find it at Giant. I couldn't find it at Walmart. You know, sometimes you just have to spend a little bit more. And this is all natural, low sodium. And this was $5.99 for this jar. And this is a 24 ounce jar. But I'm telling you what, it's delicious. And the sodium in here is zero, okay? And it says that it has a total of six grams of sugar and it's 70 calories per cup. And the ingredients in here is Italian tomatoes, onions, olive oil, garlic, spices, basil, and parsley. That is it, okay? And let me add the other one. I wanna make a big old mess. And you know what's so sad is that <laughs> I actually got behind, um, I told everybody earlier, I was taking my time, you know, and went in there and was going, it's very rarely, I sit down and watch movies and stuff, but one of the things that I had seen advertised on TV, <laughs> on HBO, is called Glass. And if you haven't seen that, that movie with Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, I can't think of what the other guy's name was. I got caught up in that and I watched that today and I'm telling you that movie Glass was so good. Okay, so if you need to sit down and take some time out, relax, and watch a good movie, that is a good movie. Okay, so let me go ahead and get, let me move this back a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get my butternut squashed out of the oven. I'm going to move that back a little bit. Hope you can see it. Got this eye over here looking like it's on red hot. Okay. And like I was saying, I did the squash two different ways. So you can eat it separately. You can have it cubed. Or you can make it like a spaghetti, a spaghetti noodle, okay, put this over there, and when I did my squash, I hope you can see this, let me show you, let me see if I can angle it. Okay, and turn this down. is on red hot okay if you can see the squash it looks really really good I always put um, water in the bottom of my pan some people put oil and stuff but I just put a cup and a cup and a half of water in there before I put my potatoes in there Okay, not only does it steam them, it makes it cook faster, and they're not dried out. So I'm going to get a, maybe I should get a bigger spoon. I want to put it in a bowl so I can drain off that liquid. Actually, I think I'm just going to bring them over here to stay on the safe side. I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm trying to angle it so you can see. Let me find my pot holders. One second, please. Oh, 
Okay. And look at that. They look beautiful. Okay, one second. Let me turn that down. Stir that up real quick before I get some of that juice off the squash. Okay. And you know what the thing is? Once you start the intermittent fasting, your body gets used to it. And you're not even hungry after a while, you know. Okay. Let me turn this down low. Okay. So I'm just... Pouring the water off the big ones. Okay. Like so. Ooh, that is really, I, I'm telling you, that one has been really, really um, cooked. One second, one second, one second. Trying to okay, I got that drained. I'm gonna bring it back over here. I hope you guys can see this. Maybe I need to angle it just a little bit more, raise up my stand, and bring it down so you can see what the squash looks like. And I'm telling you, it's very <laughs> very soft and tender so if you're doing the spaghetti squash you can just take your fork and go like this and like I say I put mine in the oven at 400 for maybe like an hour and um I don't know if it was 30 minutes you know if you're putting the whole squash in there it's going to take you about two hours and something okay so you can do your you can um do your potato potato lord your squash like this because that's what it looks like with your fork okay actually I should just take it and put it on a plate so you guys can see how it looks let me get the spatula. Hold on one second. I apologize. I should be a little bit more organized. And I'm telling you, the squash is just breaking loose. I'm going to show you two different ways, okay? So I'm going to show you some with the squash like that, and then some with the potatoes over to the side, because this is how it's going to be in the bowl. And the benefits are squash. Oh my God, butternut squash are really good. So I'm going to post the benefits of the butternut squash too. So I'm going to turn that around this way. Hope you guys can see it. I'm also, I'm getting my cheese right now that I'm going to put on top of it. Okay, and you have a choice of um, what you want to put on there. It's up to you. So not only can you make your spaghetti butternut squash, you can also use the rest of uh, the potatoes and stuff. Excuse me, I keep saying potatoes. The rest of the butternut squash for other meals. So if you're doing your meal prep, okay? And all I do is I just take my ladle, because the sauce is done, okay? Oh yeah, let me show you what else I use. Because I'm a, a vegan, I use the, the Daya 
okay? This is the Dea Mozzarella Style Shreds. And then also I use the Dea Delicious Dairy. And these are dairy free too. Classic blend. It's all vegan, okay? And also, I bought the Parma Original. This is Vega Parmesan. And it's plant-based, dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, GMO-free, kosher. I also picked this up over at the um, Wegmans. Let me see if I can get this turned up just a little bit more. Okay? So then I just take like a ladle. Okay? Just add it right to your butternut squash. Now you can, um, and what I'm going to do is that actually this is a lot. I'm going to break it down and I'm going to put it in my container, you know. And then you can add your Parma Vega on there too. Vegan um, Parmesan, excuse me, but it's called Vega Parmesan. So we're going to sprinkle a little bit of this on there. And this is really good, okay. Some of this stuff is really good. It depends on where you go. So don't just go buy anything. Do your homework. Ask around. And I'm going to put the mozzarella on top. Okay. Now we could take and put this whole thing back in the oven. But because we're running a little late, I'm just going to pop this in the microwave a little bit. So the cheese will melt. Okay. Let me raise this up. I hope you guys have been able to see everything. And I hope you can see that butternut squash. Maybe I need to raise it up more so you can see it that way. I hope it's coming in. Let me see if I can swipe it off. Maybe I can see it then. Okay, that's up a little bit. Okay, and don't ask me what's going on. But... I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to post this on the page. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me get the finished product out the microwave so I can show you how it looks after the cheese is melted some. Okay, I didn't let it melt all the way, but some of the way. Let me see if you guys can get this. Maybe I can turn it around. Let me see if I can turn it around the other way so you can see what it looks like. Let me take this off of here. Take it off my little stand. I apologize. Okay, let me see if I can turn this around so you guys can see the finished product. Let me do it real quick. Okay. The cheese still needs, it needs to melt a little bit more. And I'm going to take my containers and I'm going to do my prep. For this week, I'm going to do some for next week, but it will be ready. Some will be in the freezer, okay? And I will have one tomorrow. So, I just want you guys to see how quick and easy it is. Like I say, the longest part, let me turn this off. The longest part of making the, the spaghetti with the butternut squash is cooking the butternut squash okay everything else is really quick and easy and it is delicious look at this and you would never know this is vegan because i'm telling you the bignon meat oh my goodness it is delicious so what we have here is the butternut squash we put our seasonings in um for our sauce we use the gia rosa okay we also added the organic no salt seasoning to it and that's 21 um, spices in there and herbs i put some ground ginger in there and on the butternut squash we put the olive oil oh yes also i cut up the red onion and put in there and also put the pure sea salt on the butternut squash along with the olive oil and the fine ground black pepper. All these I found over at um, Costco. And we cooked the squash on 400, probably about an hour and 30, 40 minutes. And voila, that's our meal. 
This is Deneen. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any healthy meals or healthy tips for vegans or you'd like to share, hey, send me a message and I'll put it on there. Or if you want me to cook something for you, let me know. I appreciate you guys showing up and please do me a favor and share out this page. I wish everybody would have a great evening. Take care and good night.